I am so pleased to see one, two, three, five people here around here. It's more than five. So by this time we are going to call upon Pastor Jesus' family and their friends. They have a song which they are going to sing before we continue.
By this time, we are going to invite Clinton's family. Maybe you'll be surprised to see people, Canadians, they sing in Swahili. So we welcome. see you all here. we got more friends coming. We, uh, our girls and boys can sing a little bit Swahili. Come up to help us in. And uh, we had a Gula living in our house for a while. Is he here somewhere? All the way in the back. He lived in our house and taught our children French and Swahili and songs like that. So that was always a blessing. So now we'll just sing a short song in Swahili and then all together we'll sing an English song yet too.
Can you clap our hands for family here? Don't forget, when you're here, you should know that this is the first day that African ministry opens in this church. We are working under Evangel Chapel, which is a big church here. Now, this is a part of African ministry. There are so many ministries here, and this is one of the ministries which the board and the pastors chosen to start here. And that's why we are here this afternoon. So by this time we are going to welcome French Fellowship Choir for Mother, if they are ready. Are you ready? Yes, you are ready. <laughs>
most of the songs so far are in Swahili. And the services will be held in Swahili, in French, in other languages, and they will be always interpreted in English. For example, this song which they think it says Yahweh lifted up. Because we are faithful in all the countries in the world. You created everything but you never did create. Thank you for, for thank you for your faithfulness and for your love. Now by this time we are going to call upon the trumpet prayer. I'm not gonna link up prayer prophets. Trumpet prayer there? Yeah, yeah. Can I see you trumpet prayer? Wow, yeah.
prophet. You can do this. Now we are going to welcome just here. Sasa tunenda kukaribisha our sister Mary Maliro, the director of Mary Maliro. And after Mary Maliro, we are going to call upon the voice. Clear voice. Nabadia and they are going to see well we are preparing our offering. Bad my reaction Malisa to the Italia voice note to publish my new Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Je una furaha? Ndio. Kila mtu apatie mwenye anakaa pembeni yake high five.
Praise God. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm right here in you. Are you happy? Yeah, I would like to offer for our God. I would like to call upon the clear voice to prepare us for praising songs. And I'll ask each one of us to stand up in our feet, please. So that I call upon Pastor Rogers to pray before we go into the praise. Clear Fox to Bundish and Pastor Roger down there. Pastor Rogers, please. Seigneur, nous te sommes cet après-midi en ces lieux. Selon qu'il est écrit, ne venez pas dans la maison de Dieu, mais vide. Bien sûr, nous venons. Nous venons t'offrir notre cœur et nous venons t'offrir notre prière. Mais c'est temps, c'est le temps de te donner quelque chose qui est matériel et visible. Père, bénis ces offrandes qui doivent aider pour le commencement de cette œuvre. Ça sera une fondation que nous voulons poser, Seigneur, par cette offrande qu'on va offrir. Et je prie à ce que le Dieu de gloire qui puisse toucher le cœur, qui puisse toucher l'âme, pour que chacun puisse donner au-delà de sa foi. Et bénis là où ça va sortir, bénis nos travail et tout ce qu'on on entreprend. C'est dans le nom de Jésus-Christ que nous venons ici de prier. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. What else if you are? Are we going to uh, raise up all of us and we're going to uh, uh, sing a praise song while we offer uh, proceeds to the Lord? I'm going to call upon Sister Melve to come forward. Sister Melve and Sister Olin to help us in this chorus. Sister Merveille, Sister Olin, Mamazi, if you can please come forward and help us sing. Can you grab the mic? <laughs>
Are you happy? We are just practicing what we're gonna do in heaven. I always wonder for those who are willing to inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says 24 hours, night and day, we're gonna worship God, praising Him. If you don't want to praise God here on earth, don't expect to be in heaven because you're gonna be disappointed. Amen. I'd like to call upon Brother Didi to give us some announcement. Brother Didi, welcome, please. Thank you. So this week is African Ministry. On Saturday we have choir practice here in the sanctuary from 2 p.m. After choir practice we have prayer meeting. And Sunday we gather here from 2 to 4. As we are under Evangel Chapel, we are having uh, Tuesday's prayer meeting at 7 p.m. And all the youth, they can come on Thursday at 6 p.m. as well. And anyone who wants to come in the morning at Evangel Chapel, he, might, he or she might come at 10 30 in the morning every Sunday for services. And in the afternoon from 2, we gather here as African ministry. Everyone is all. That's all I have for announcements. Just tell your neighbor this is the house of God. Your neighbor to the right and to the left. Amen. Amen. We are reaching a great moment now when we would like to hear from the word of God. But before that, I would like to introduce the senior pastor of this church. I would like to call upon Pastor Dan while we clap for <laughs> Jesus. God bless you. It's wonderful to be here today. I'm so excited for what God has been doing. Pastor Kisu is a good friend of mine. I'm blessed to call him friend. He has a he has a heart after God. Like King David was a man, a man after God's own heart, so is Kisu. And also I want to say thank you to Didi. Where is Didi? And we're so blessed that he is partnering with Kisu in our church and working together so hard to make this ministry begin. God has called me to Evangel Chapel seven years ago. And in that time, as you can probably see from the, the flags all around me, Evangel Chapel is a church of many nations. Each flag represents someone in our church. 
And so there's over 33 different nationalities in our church. And so I believe that's a, that's a little bit of heaven, don't you think? Because through the blood of Jesus, there's neither Greek nor, Je nor, nor Jew nor Gentile. That God is the Lord of all. The same blood forgives all of our sins. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. Wonderful. Well, I'm so glad you've come today to support this ministry. And I realize many and some of you are from other churches. And we're not here to try to recruit you to our church. We just want to say thank you for coming to support this new ministry. I would just encourage you to do one thing. And that's just to pray for this ministry. Because as we see in our community, there are many immigrants coming into Winnipeg. And I saw a recent story on it, how many of our African young boys are going into gangs. In the city of Winnipeg. And so we need to pray, Lord, reach these young people, reach these adults before they get themselves in trouble. And we, all, we know there are many churches in this, in this city that are already doing that. And maybe your church is one of those churches already doing that. The amazing thing is when we all work together, we do all our part for the kingdom of God. We can reach a great and mighty harvest of souls for him. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord for that. I want to say a prayer today, a blessing. And I want to call Kisu up at this time. And Didi as well. And are your wives here? Didi is your wife? What I want to do is, see, I do this a lot for new ministries. I want you to reach out your hand to, to these individuals. Today. Just reach out your arm to them for blessing upon upon the work that God is about to do here at Evangelist. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you today, we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord, for the work you are doing. We say thank you, Lord, for the lives you are touching. I say thank you, Lord, Father, for the vision that you've given our brother Kisu, Lord, to help lead this church of, of, of people. I thank you for this new ministry and evangel, Lord God, that you have, you have ordained, you have opened this door, and we pray, God, that you will bless them. I pray, O oh God, to prosper them. I pray, O oh God, that this ministry would grow. That, Father, it would be known in the city of Winnipeg as a place, O oh God, where people can hear the word of God and in their own language, O oh Lord. And that, Father, they'll hear it and respond to it and turn their lives over to Jesus. Father, we have many immigrants who are coming into Canada. Father, from many nations. And so churches are beginning many ministries, Lord, to reach different ethnic groups. But we say thank you for this African ministry under the umbrella of Evangel Chapel. I pray you bless it. I pray you prosper it. May it grow. And Father, may a great harvest of souls, a great harvest of men, women, boys and girls come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior because of this work you are doing. We say thank you, God. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we say thank you in advance for the lives you're going to touch. And we say amen. And we say amen. Amen. I want to, before I go, I want to introduce to you some of my elders of my church that are here. We have Jeanette Henschel who is in the back there. Jeanette can just raise her hand. We have Jerry Hooley standing in the back. Wonderful man of God. We have Durban Drysdale. Where's Durban? 
David Ikuapi. East of the building somewhere. I think they're in the back counting offering. So Durbin's in the back, and so he's he's a Jamaican. Any Jamaicans here? Wonderful man of God. We, have, so we also have our church board here, and I'm not sure if they're all here, but I saw Ken Eepin in the building. Is Ken here in the building, in the room? He's also counting? Okay. He's counting, Durbin's counting, and I believe the other board members are not able to be here. So we say thank you for coming today. We stand with this ministry and we pray for it. God bless you. Thank you so much, Reverend. Um, I'd like to ask uh, if the International Disciple Ministry are here to come and give us one number. International Discipleship Ministries Please welcome.
I can wash away my sins Nothing but the blood of Jesus God can make me all again Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh precious, so oh, precious is the Amen. 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 Amen.
mkutano we are going to welcome the assembly na ni wakati wetu wa kukaribisha waheshimiwa mapasta ambao walialikwa mahali hapa and this moment we want to welcome pastors who are invited here Tunasema kwa jumla karibu sana wa pasta ambao mnakuja kututia moyo na Mungu awabariki sana. In general we say thank you to all the pastors who are still strengthening us. May God bless you. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo tunaenda kuandika ama kusimamisha pasta moja kwa moja baada ya kukua atasalimu mkutano kwa sababu ya muda wetu umekimbia mbio sana. Since we're running short of time, I'm going to call each pastor to stand up and greet the congregation. Ninarudia tena kwa kusimamisha ama kumsimamisha mchungaji wa mahali hapa ambaye tunaemisha tupatia mahali hapa tunaendelea kumsimamisha ama kumwambia ainue tu mkono na mke wake kupepea pastor Dan I want to welcome all the time pastor pastor Dan just to wave up your hand just raise your hands Please, when the pastor stands up, you have to clap our hands. Because that's where the anointing starts. Amen. 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 The Bible tells us that the anointing starts from the head, then coming down through your clothes. Amen. 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 We want to welcome another pastor. Tunakona Pastor John. And we have Pastor John. Pamoja na mke wake. Amen. Amen. Tunakua vile vile na mchungaji Kivi na mke wake. We have as well Pastor Kivi. Na waneza kumaka kukwetea kukwetea. And then we have Pastor Kivi. We also have Pastor Wakongo mani wote 
Hapa katika mucha wenipege We want to welcome the servant of God to the same time Misha ndugu simama na mungu akubari The president of the Lord Na alipofufuka kawatokea wanafunzi. 
after the resurrection, he appeared to his disciples. And he told them that I have been given. Jesus is given all the power here on earth and in heaven as well. Amen. Even under the ground. Jesus is given that power. No, no, nothing on earth can, sh can shake your faith. Nothing can shake your faith. Nothing more can take you away from your faith. Because Jesus Christ has been given, he has taken away his dressing gown. And when he appears to his disciples, he said that because I've been given, You will make people to become your farm instead of supporting Jesus Christ. They will say, our pastor said this, but not Jesus said this. People are not doing things to please their pastors instead of pleasing Jesus. 
because they have not been sent by the Father. Because they wasn't sent by Christ. But we have been given authority today. Jesus is telling us because he has taken all authority. This is not giving it to us. Jesus was not just there doing nothing. Jesus was not a dead man. After receiving the authority, he gave it back to us. And he told us, go. And make all nations disciples. Make everyone. Make them to be disciples. And then, and then these signs will follow those who will believe. These signs will follow those who believe. These are the signs which will follow me. If because if I've been really sent by the Lord. If of course I've been sent by Jesus. I will not go to the church because my brother goes there. I won't follow my, my brother because he's I won't do things to please my friends because I don't please. But this is the last time to do the right things to please the Lord who has sent you. You have to please God who has sent you. Let people talk what they want about you. Let people forsake you. to give a report to the Lord. It's your time to do the work of God. Tell your neighbor to wake up for a right time to serve the Lord. Tell your neighbor wake up from your sleep. It's time to serve the Lord. May the Lord bless us. Amen. Kisu, kisu knife, knife, kipanga, knife, kipanga, kipanga, machete. Kisu panga, that's his name. We give glory to God for the words we've been received. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. I would like to call upon our brothers from Uganda. To give one number. One, two. Please wait for the number. Please wait for the number. Please wait for
Thank you, brothers and sisters from Uganda. We have come to uh, the end of our meeting. I call upon Brother Didi to come and give us the final announcement. Pastor Kivi to give us the blessings and pray for the food. Shauri shacha, kifupi na tapa pana ni kama tunda makamata chakula, tewe kwa chakula wa sani ambao tamaliza. We are going downstairs after here for food. Tushuka chini kwa basement, baada ya hapo. And if you need the right, it's any services you can call these numbers. Na kama ni saji msaidizi wa gari mkuu ya kuchukua nyumbani wakati wa kanisa unaweza kupiga kwa simu. You can call Pastor Kisu at 417 Mwisho kupigia pasta kisu kwa 0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0704-0